Welcome to our next Linux Magazine storage video. I'm Jeff Layton, the uh, storage editor for Linux Magazine. And today I want to talk about a br what we do with a brand new SSD in our system. I just got a brand new SSD, 64 gigabytes. Oh, love the smell of new fast storage. And also I wanted to talk about it using my brand new dry erase markers for my friend Doug. Doug, thanks very much. Oh, love the smell of dry erase markers. So before I put my brand new SSD into my system and start putting a file system on it, oh, love the smell of SSDs. We need to review about how SSDs are constructed so that we can make our partitions and file systems as efficient as possible and take advantage of the SSD. So remember, SSDs are composed of solid state chips. Typically, we start off with what's called a page, which is about four kilobytes in size, and that's called a page. Then we combine these pages into something called a block. So typically, it's about 128 block pages in a block. So all of this is a block. And so that gives us about a 512 kilobyte block. That's what SSDs are built from. Then we take these blocks, we take about a thousand of these blocks and combine them into something that's called a plane. We take about 1,024 blocks to create a plane typically, so that gives us about 512 megabytes for a plane. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. So then we take multiple planes and we create what's called a die. Then we have multiple dies in a chip, multiple chips. That creates our SSD for us. But remember, SSDs have a limited number of what's called read, modify, write cycles. You can only write to them so many times. Also remember that SSDs have a, uh, an issue or a challenge that if I change one little bit of data in a block, I have to read all of the data in the block, erase all of that data in the block, change that one little bit, and then write all that 512k data back to the block. So anytime I change the data, I have to do it on what's called a block level. So changing one little teeny bit, one bit in that block, forces all of the bits in the block to undergo a read, modify, write cycle. Remember, we have a limited number of those, so we want to make sure that we don't use those up without good reason. So what we're going to do is talk about how to do a, create a partition or a file system based on 4K pages. So that means that the partition and the file system will be aligned on the 4 kilobyte pages so that blocks are aligned with the file system. So that if I do modify a piece of data it will be within the block, so it's not straddling two blocks forcing me to do updates to two blocks, wasting a lot more cycles. That helps on our number of read, modify, write cycles, and it also helps our performance. So if you go ahead and read the rest of this article, I'll walk you through an example of how I'm going to take my brand new SSD, love storage, love the smell of storage, and put it in my system and partition it and put a file system on it. So Doug, your honor, thanks for the dry erase markers. Really appreciate it. Until next time.